Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakhakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. Just here to do another lesson in hopes to edify those that are of the hopeful elect. And, um, you know, this lesson is going to be based on crying to the Lord. You know, while you can. Cry unto the Lord while you can. Bear with me. All right, with, with me saying that, you know, I want to get a quick precept. Um, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 55 and uh, verse 6. Matter of fact, we start at 5. It says, Behold, thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not, and nations that knew not thee shall run unto thee because of the Lord thy power. And for the Holy One of Israel, for he hath glorified thee. Seek ye the Lord Yahweh, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he was near. Okay? So, while the Lord can be found right now, you're supposed to you know be seeking the lord while he is near okay because after this you know that's your ass man all right now the lord the number two-thirds to the sword and he also numbered the elect for election to be delivered and that's for the election the scriptures speak on in the apocrypha i believe is in sirach it says uh worry about how i think it's in second edges nine uh worry how the, the don't worry how the ungodly is destroyed but worry how the godly will be saved and i'm roughly paraphrasing that you know so our job you know as a watchman men you know and you few sisters out there that that are sincere all right in this truth you know being obedient all right with order you know you should be praying pray pray for the apostles and elders of great millstone pray for your teachers all right pray for the spiritual fathers you know pray pray for the elders you know that that uh of here at Great Millstone that been giving you this work in season and out of season non-stop giving you raw truth okay pray for the the brethren all right the men who you see doing the shows out there constantly feeding you this word all right because through them the Lord is using them as a mouthpiece all right when you see these men and they they're speaking out of the scriptures the scriptures say when two or three are gathered in my name uh, he is in, I is in the midst of them, which is Yahweh Shai. All right. So you're hearing the word from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. You're hearing the word from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai through the men that he have chosen to push out his gospel. So pray for these brothers and pray for the families. Pray also for yourself. Pray for your family and loved ones. All right. This is the time to seek mercy of the Lord while you can. And that's why I read that scripture. Uh, seek ye the Lord while he may be found all right now while the rest of the world and two-thirds you know uh gearing themselves up for failure thinking that you know they're going to open this thing back up and I got to say to the new norm just in case if they do that they think two-thirds think that they're going to be going back to things how it was and it's not all right these Edomites are setting you up for destruction all right you know, they're setting forth their draconian laws. Now I hear in L.A., uh, who, the company who, all right, they basically plan on uh, going, uh, the people who've been diagnosed, diagnosed with a uh, positive of the COVID virus, that um, they're going to have to go into their homes and separate them from their family. So, you know, Esau, is, he's not, he's going to capitalize on this crisis. And like we said, all right, this is Bible prophecy. You know, what, what Esau is, is the left-hand side of the Most High. All right, because remember, the Lord created evil. All right, Satan works for the Most High. Everything is done in righteousness when it comes to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Two-thirds of you Israelites have to be punished for your iniquity. Okay, and these Edomites, which rule so uh, un ungodly toward us, they even going to get dealt with. But the Moses, Most High uses his creatures as his will. All right. Um, I was thinking of something. 
Bear with me. I just lost track what I wanted to something else I wanted to grab. Damn. All right, but anyway, what we see here is Psalms 130. All right, and um, it says a song of degrees. It says, Out of the depths have I cried unto thee, O Yahweh. Lord, hear my voice. Let thou ear be attentive to the voice of my supplication. And supplication is very important, you know, because if you're not really praying unto the Lord, are you really in the truth? You know, the Lord should be in all our thoughts, you know, and I say that so that it will hopefully make you think and, and think on the Lord more to pray, to talk with the Lord. All right. Um, oh, I know what I was going to grab. Um, well, let's get this real quick. Supplication, which simply means, you know, supplication for favor. All right. To man, to the most high. Basically means to beg. Um, entreaty supplication. Let me see if it give me something. Okay. So, let me see some. No, I don't want to grab. Supplication. See? Yeah, it is a better one. Supplication, the action of asking or begging for something earnestly or humbly. All right. So supplication, you know, is, is a must toward Yahweh Bashim Shai. And remember, there's nothing impossible to the most high. So asking for the Lord, you know, for whatever your desire is, ask him. All right. You know, but pray. Like I said, pray, pray for the apostles and elders. Pray for the brethren that, 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 you know, you watch and do the shows, man. Pray for your family. Pray for yourself, you know, every day, man, every day. Because these Edomites, they're putting curses upon us. And also, as we pray unto the Lord, we also pray that the Lord bring misfortune and evil, all right, upon the wicked, you know. And that's basically a curse, you know, because we do have the power to call the Lord, to ask the Lord to bring forth misfortune and evil unto the ungodly. All right, the scriptures say the Lord is angry at the wicked every day. All right, the Most High said he hateth sinners. You know, we have something that two thirds, you know, of you of the Israelites they don't have, which is the knowledge of the scriptures, knowing that the Lord does hate, knowing that the Lord uh, 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 has indignation, which means righteous anger. All right, we we understand the knowledge in which the Lord gave us of these scriptures through our teachers. Okay, the knowledge, uh, wisdom, and understanding. All right, so that word supplication, the action of asking or begging for something earnestly. And that word earnestly, I believe, is something is serious. Let's see. Earnestly, with sincere and intense conviction. Seriously, yeah, see? So there it is, man. Seriously. All right. So, supplication is a big word. Now, uh, is it even needful to bring it out? Let me see here. Keep thinking of it. Uh, I'll just read here uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 1 real quick. It says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. All right? Perilous times shall come, which is bad and evil times. And that's what we're in. We're in the uh bad and evil time we're still quarantined man all right we're sitting here waiting for the devil to come up with a master plan all right to bring us into his new world okay we're waiting upon his new world orders you know so we can live in his society well guess what all right the lord sent prophets to tell you that the most high is going to interrupt his enterprise and that we're not going to live according to his new orders, okay? His draconian laws and, you know, everyone being microchipped, being a transhuman. Everyone's going to be uh, digi digitally vac vaccinated, all right, according to the devil Bill Gates. The Most High says in Wisdom of Solomon, we were made to, re to reprove his thoughts, all right? So that's why you got to pray for the brothers, man. Pray for the elders and apostles. Pray for the men of the Lord. All right. Because the Lord created these men. 
all right? Just like he told Jeremiah, I knew these from the womb. They were predestinated, all right, to be the men of the Lord, the first fruits. And they, and they were made to reprove Esau's thoughts, all right? We're in a time right now to speak. And soon it's not going to be a time to speak. That's in Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, where it talks about the time and seasons up under the heavens. It's a, it's a purpose for everything. It's a purpose for everything. And right now we're in the purpose of prophesizing and we're coming to an end of it. After this, Yahweh Shai is going to crack those clouds. All right. And um, let me say this too. This is why we're seeing a whole lot more chariots because, you know, when you in the flesh and you keep watching bad news all day, but you're reading the scriptures and the Lord is comforting you through the word, he comforted us through his signs. All right. So when you see the chariots up in the heavens and they're flashing, doing all type of marvelous, uh, wondrous works, not knowing what, what, what it means by the flashes and the movements, but just know that the Lord is telling you that I'm here. <laughs> you know, the Lord is telling us I am right here. All right. So when you see those chariots, man, praise Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Call Halalah Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Every time you see those chariots, brothers, that do the chariot videos and throw them up, that's the Lord telling you that he is here. He's near. He's here. He, he, he's here. He's not far gone. He's not sleeping. All right. The Lord is with us every day. Every day there's angels that you can't see that surround you, man. That's knowing your every step. All right. Knowing your every move. Just like he... Knowing Esau's every step and his every move. He the, the angels of the Lord were in the secret councils of the wicked. Okay? They were in the secret councils of the wicked, which is the elites. When they was having their meetings, secret meetings, them demons and those and the righteous angels were there. Listening, playing on their minds, making sure that they go according to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah's will. Alright? So anyway, it says, this know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. And we're approaching those perilous times. Which just means bad time, man. Evil time. All right. So, all right. I got that out the way. I did want to bring that up first. So let's go back into Psalms 130 and 2. It says, Lord, Yahweh, hear my voice. Let thou ear be attentive to the voice of my supplication. And we went into that word supplication, which means to beg. So right now. Man, we're begging the Lord, you know, you know, you know, uh, this is enough. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, we're begging the Lord. You got to come. You got to deal with these Edomites, man. You know, you got to deal with these Edomites. If you don't know that these devils, if you don't know that these Edomites are the devil that the Bible speaks of, then you're blinded, man. You're blinded. Like I told brothers over this week, you know, family member, you know, constantly, you know, Itching at the truth a little bit, itching here, itching there, you know. So I said, All right, so you want to scratch? You know, I gave her something to sniff, you know. This is metaphorically speaking, gave her something to sniff, the sniff, and the person said, This is a little too extreme. Said, I don't believe it because it's a little too extreme. So because um, Esau is being exposed, and you got a lot of uh, whistleblowers out here you got a lot of um, uh, men women doing 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 things and exposing the agenda of these elites all right when someone of the two-thirds hear it or see it they can't believe it because it's too extreme you know it's, it's too it's too out of the norm it's too it's too you know over the top no, no, they're not doing that. They think that the mind control government is not going to do this to them. But anyway, that's why we got to make supplications and beg the Lord. You know, pray for mercy, faith, love, grace, you know, endurance, courage, strength. And, you know, it says uh, verse three, if thou, Yahweh, shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? Exactly, because from the Israelites all the way to the Edomites, man, all of us are filthy. But the Lord chosen the Israelites. 
All right. He gave us law, statutes and commandments. So worry about us. OK, but guess what? When it comes down to us Israelites. All right. None of us, you know, are, are, are really perfect. OK, the scriptures say we, we all fall short of the glory of the most high. But that's why the Lord now, you know, he's going to deliver an election because those are the ones who strived in righteousness. All right. Who rehearsed the righteous acts, who acknowledged the Lord in his absence, who believe, who gave their body as a living sacrifice. Because really, the most high, we mark iniquities, we all should uh, not make it. You know, when you bake, when Esau, he's he's banking on that we're all wicked, you know, because he polluted our food. So we are automatically going off by eating certain foods, not willingly. But now your meat's got, you know, this cell in there. They, you know, you got you got fruits with with fucking animal cells in it because it's genetically modified, you know, and all we, it's like we all the way off. There's no way that the Lord should look upon us in his eyes and say, you know, uh, and, and save the ones that were righteous, you know. But guess what? It says, if thou, Lord, shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? But there is forgiveness with thee that thou mayest be feared. And that's what the wicked don't understand. As the scriptures say, OK, because they don't realize that the Lord is forgiveness of our sins. That's why it's important for us to, to uh, cry unto the Lord while he may be found. The Lord is very merciful, man. You know, think about it, man. All right. You got niggas out here that, you know, ain't been shit since they was 12 years old. I'm going to say 12 because that's really considered when you a man, a young man, you know, you should know right from wrong. And they could be 50, 40 some years old. All right. And they just still alive, getting away with the bullshit they've been getting away with. All right. It says, but there is forgiveness with thee that thou mayest be feared. You know, the Lord is a master. That's why he should be feared, man. All right. When you have a master, just like we do with our earthly masters, we fear them. It's out of respect. All right. It's out of respect. So how much more our heavenly master, which is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, it says verse 5, I wait for the Lord Yahweh, my soul doeth wait, and in his word do I hope. And that's the thing, that's that's the key, the faith, the hope that we have in our, what, what you want to call visible power. Okay, because the invisible power is going to manifest the power within us, let alone the brightness of his coming, you know. So it says, I wait for the Lord. The point there is to wait. Remember, Yahweh Shai said, wait for me till I stand up to the prey. He said his determination is to gather the nations to pour upon them his indignation. All right. So the Lord want to get down. But the key word is wait for the Lord, Yahweh. My soul doeth wait. And in his word do I hope. Verse 6, my soul waiteth for the Lord more than they that watcheth for the morning. I say more than they that watch for the morning. Let Israel hope for the Lord, hope in the Lord Yahweh, for with the Lord Yahweh there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. Okay? So through our Lord is mercy, man. You could bet you could bet that. Verse 8. And he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. See the Lord sure showed mercy unto us that are of the hopeful elect you know we woken up you see what life's about you change from your old ways you live in according to the word of the lord keeping the law statutes and commandments to the best of your abilities you try not to profane the, the sabbath you know you know you're you're rehearsing so the lord showed mercy unto us to even even uh uh to believe in him in the time of his absence man all right. It says, and he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities, because eventually when the Lord kill off two thirds and, and uh, save the elect, he's going to change our bodies. He's going to put his uh, laws within our inward parts, you know, and we're never going to be separated again from Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. All right. So like I said, man, um, I might title this lesson around the lines of supplication, crying to the Lord. It's a quick prayer, you know. You know, if you're not praying, man, you know, you better start praying now. 
you know, should be with these uh, perilous times that we're in. And it's only going to get darker. You know, it's like we're just sitting here waiting. You know, you're doing your little life, doing your little thing. And you're waiting on them to come up with this plan. You know, which you know that is going to be uh, uh, draconian, you know, strict, you know. And you're going to have to deal with it, you know. But the point is, it's not giving in. That's why the scriptures say, He that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. All right, so there's a few words that was on my mind, a few thoughts. In the spirit of power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, I hope you were edified. Pray unto the Lord and uh, voice your supplications to the Lord while you can, while he may be found. All right, you know, pray, 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 man. So with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect. Shalom.